This is this is fucked. Uh, it's unclear who's the bigger asshole. How do you live like this? Live, you know, fucking live stream with this psycho. Ad break. Yeah. Who are your advertisers? Honestly, this this is like existentially horrifying. So if we if there's any way to, Hassan, I'm not sure you're mentally well. Realizing about like how uh, Grimes is feeling right now in the most cringe fucking way that you guys do. Ah! Yeah, Yo, the chat is picking up on how uncomfortable she is. Oh I have God, not played. Grimes. I have not played Cyberpunk. It's the Moon. Qu you have the Moon Queen in your house. I can't believe it. This is crazy. Hassan, they're they're gonna figure you out. This is like in sixty days in when the people are getting interrogated by the other inmates. Yo, what are you in here for? Okay, like, all this yada, yada, yada. Try to trip him up. Figure out if the guy's a chomo or something crazy like that. Dude, Grimes is gonna figure out that your your communist paperwork is all fucked up. Like you're a dumbass. Speak into the microphone. Oh, Daddy Hassan is a little mad. Every time you speak into it, you gotta yeah, you gotta like get up into it. Hold on, let me see what kind of camera angles I want to do here. Some music or something. It's just like silence. No, we don't. We don't. Silence? Yeah, we talk in silence. What are you? You just talk. Bro, you just you just came here and you're already dictating what I do in my stream. What is this? <laughs> This I is already listen. a disaster because Grimes is just making all these demands. It's annoying Hassan. Um, she's not talking directly into the microphone, which is annoying him. He can't figure out what camera angle to do. This is such a fucking shit show so far. The lo-fi hip hop. That's all I listen to pretty much. Is that the only thing that's like... It's DMCA free. <laughs> uh, this right here. That's so embarrassing. Okay. First off, oh, I listen to lo-fi hip hop. Fix. You would think this would be setting off alarm bells for her. Like, wait a second. Aren't there millions of musicians that would bend over backwards to have the exposure of being on a Hassan stream? And, oh, wait a second, maybe this guy's a fraud, and maybe he doesn't even think about little things like that. Fuck is this? And this is Koto here. Koto, do you want to say hi? Hi. Or hi. <laughs> See, even he recognized right there, like, how fucking bitchy his son is being about the microphone. And this is so scuffed. Okay, you need to... Who what came in? Happening? You're clearly unhinged. Me stand up more? Like, stand up straight for a second. Let me see. Oh my god, this is like a high school project. This is so fucking embarrassing. Okay, so you're a crypto bro? I'm not a crypto bro. Talk to me about that. You're a little bit of a crypto bro. You're like, you I, were I talking dabble. about, you I were dabble. talking about video games. You were like going to save the world through doing like crypto and, and communism. Oh God, his energy already is so standoffish and attacky and just kind of snarky and condescending and cunty here's the thing i don't know i don't know what stream culture is i have two kids and i have a really intense job i've never streamed anything in my life i have no context for this i, I actually have no idea why i'm here or what this is <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, this, see, this is what's so good about this. She shows up. She doesn't really know who Hassan is. Um, she doesn't know anything. And then Hassan's like, move to the left. Oh, I need to check my noise gate. Speak directly into the microphone. She's like, whoa, what the fuck? I thought I was Grimes for a second. Uh, you know, the main reason I'm here is because everyone I dig is like, yeah, Hassan's cool. You should do it. Yeah, like, they were lying like to you. Koto was like, yeah, you got to go to Hassan. They, yeah, they were baiting you. Is, is it false. This, is this guy's fault? Thank you. This Thank is you for that. A this is a first encounter, by the way. This is a first encounter. She doesn't know Hassan. She's going to be so disappointed when she finds out who Hassan is and who her friends like. Oh, when you find out your friends like something shitty, it kind of makes you like your friends a little less. So when she finally figures out who this Hassan guy is, she might she might lose a couple friends over this. This is, like, no, this is not like you, not a, a good mental health. Uh, having to be live publicly for hours every day is not a, a 
This is not good for your brain. I'm actively giving myself brain damage every single yeah, day. You want something to drink, by the way? Do either of you guys want something to drink? I have like all manner of different diet sodas. Diet sodas? Yes. Ugh! He offered her diet soda? The first thing you offer somebody is diet soda? Ugh! Who the fuck is drinking diet soda? Ew! Diet Mountain do zero sugar. Jesus Christ. Just... You are so- you're worse than me at ADHD shit. Okay, Dude! Oh. Yo, chill! You have the worst vibes! His energy is fucking weird. This is a weird way to talk to somebody that you don't know that well. I hope he does more of these interviews. His son interviews are fucking hilarious. How do you do? Naughty's here? Yeah, yes, yeah. Okay, let's bring Naughty in. Yes, yes, okay. I'll be so much more relaxed. Yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, see you, dude! Uh, she is tense, and Hassan is making it so much worse. And she's like, thank God, I have a friend here. This is a, a marking of a very bad interviewer. It's not that, I mean, it's it's whatever. Don't As long as you don't read the chat, it's like uh, there isn't 50,000 people watching live at all. Um, I don't have... Yeah, I don't even think she's anxious about the people watching. I think th that she's anxious about talking to you because you're hard to talk to. And she doesn't know you, and she doesn't know anything about you. It's a, It's like an anxious thing. And you keep being like, move your seat to the left. Talk closer into the microphone. My oh, she's not here. She's in here in 30 minutes. That's very different than she's okay. here. Okay. Oh, nah, that's so funny, too. This is like Grimes' personal Guantanamo Bay, where they're implementing psychological torture on her. Because for a moment, she was like, oh, thank God, my friend is here. This is going to be so nice. Oh, my God, thank God. I've been waiting for this. I didn't think that I could keep going without my friend. Okay, 30 minutes away, so now I am still living in hell. This is literally, I don't know, this is not good for your mental health. Dude. This is, this is fucked. I mean, remember when we were... Uh, she is so perceptive, because she's starting to realize that, like, yeah, streamers are to be avoided. Look, I'm used to this. Like this. I'm used to this, but it really gets bad when uh, people brigade it. Like, people uh, get it in their heads, like, when shit's popping off or, like, when people have decided that, like, I'm bad or something. I feel like I'm I'm so roasted and so canceled that it, it, at this point, there's not much left to lose if the out here having fun. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about on the way down. <laughs> yeah, so you just went on your little bitch speech about, oh, sometimes it gets hard when... People are mean to you, and it's like, you know how, like, you have the TikTok comment section? I have that, but, like, in real time, so it's so much scarier. So when they're mean to me, it's like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? And then Graham's like, yeah, I don't really care. Like, whatever. They can say whatever they want. <laughs> this is my safe. Uh, my best friend. Well, this is a dark story. Is that ashes? Do we want to go in the dark? Do we want to go to some dark? Sure, it's fucking darken it up. Let's hear it. Me and my best Ugh, friend. his energy, like, he's so unsincere and slimy that you would feel disgusting telling a real personal story because he is no, um, he is no toolbox that allows him to respond in an eth empathetic way to any sincere thing that is said to him because he's built. Like she was saying about how this is bad for your mental health, you have no way to deal with sincerity because you constantly have to have your guard on at all times that you're you're not ready for this. I really want Nadia to roll in because... Because I don't really like you that much and then I have a friend to talk to. Let's text Nadia. Realizing about like how uh, Grimes is feeling right now in the most cringe fucking way that you guys do. <laughs> yeah, the chat is picking up on how uncomfortable she is, and it's making Hassan angry. Oh, the feedback loop. Hassan, you're losing, you're losing, you're losing. Dude, she hates you, she hates you. If I was in his chat room right now, I'd be like, Hassan, she hates you. Hassan, why are you yelling at her? Oh, and he has like fucking 20,000 people saying that shit to him in real time right now, and it's making him go nuts. Control yourselves saying? around women. What are they saying? Are they bullying me? No, they're not bullying you. They're bullying. They're, they're, are, they're, they're basically backseat uh, quarterbacking. They're, they're armchair quarterbacking the stream, going, Grimes is uncomfortable right now. You need to do this. You need to do that. And it's a deeply, deeply annoying fucking thing the chat does every time there's a girl here. 
Um, well, why don't you ask her if she's feeling uncomfortable instead of... See, now you're doing a fucking toxic male thing where you're kind of speaking for her. I thought you are supposed to be Hassan on the left. You can't be doing toxic masculinities on Grimes. What do they want you to do? Um, they just think that, like, the conversation is not going well. Oh, God. It's like, it's just like, well. it's just like, it's just like how I react. See, when I she know see, she knows the conversation isn't going well. Like, so she's, she's starting to, to realize that the chat is on her side, and I think she's liking it. She's like, wait a second, this guy, yeah, we are having a bad time. And yeah, the chat does recognize it, so she feels validated, because up until this point, she wasn't um, reading the chat. So she was just kind of interpreting the situation in her own head. Now she has a bunch of people interpreting the situation for her, and I think it's like kind of a cathartic moment for her right here. Around women, fuck, oh God. So then they like, you know, are, are being over the top extra. No, 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 Hassan, you don't know. You don't know the truth. I might be a bigger asshole. Uh, it's unclear who's the bigger asshole. I don't think you're an asshole. Ooh, spicy, spicy. It's unclear as to who the bigger asshole is. The uh, verdict is still not out on that one. Uh, I think the verdict is out. We know who the bigger asshole is, and it's not you. I'm okay, you gotta, you gotta remember something. Okay? How do you this, live like this? This is not an interview. Wow. Wow. How do you live like this? You know what this reminds me of? This, this reminds me of, like, when you're, uh, th there's, like, a girl who's tripping on acid and all of a sudden she realizes she's like around strangers and all her friends went home and she's like, I need to get out of here. What am I doing here? This is crazy. This is like a bad acid trip for her. This is just a normal free flow conversation. I don't have like- Dude, it hasn't felt normal or free flowing. I don't have like things that I want to get to. I don't have any like information that I want to draw out of you. I'm not looking for okay, like a all right. opportunity to. You but know, now, now she's thinking that you do because you're being like so defensive all of a sudden that she's like, wait, why is he going on this weird defensive speech that nobody asked him to go on? What is he hiding from me? But come? also, you don't, I, wanna, I, I, you don't I wanna, need I, to be I, like, you I, know. Shut! He's just trying to say something. Because I had COVID, right? So like, I. Wait, when? Like three weeks ago. Okay, good. All right. Okay, no, no. God damn. You're, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're like, good. I had COVID, by the way. <laughs> I still have it, <laughs> but um, I had it too. Uh, see, is it like you're gonna accuse her of giving you COVID? Oh, that's not gonna make things tense again. I can just wake up. I work out. It doesn't feel like a job at all. It's awesome. You're working out. Yeah. You're working out. <laughs> She's making fun of him for his body dysmorphia. It's uh, it's a four door that drives like a two door. What? Yeah, <laughs> she's realizing how much of a fucking bonehead you are. She's realizing you're a dumb, dumb idiot. She didn't know. She didn't know until right now that you're a dummy. What even is this? What, what is Dude, she's, she doesn't know what to make of you because you're supposed to be like a smart politics guy. You're supposed to be like the guy that uh, teaches kids about socialism. So she was expecting this like enlightened kind of guy. And she, here she is talking to fucking dummy Hassan. He's like, duh, it's like a, it's a four-door that drives like a two-door, duh. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. What are you, not gonna do? Yeah. Oh, she's disgusted by that. Motherfucker just cheers with his Diet Mountain Dew. I'm fucking stressing. Just doing a live, doing a fucking live stream with this psycho. Say, yes, yes. She has a friend that she could vent about how weird his son is. Yes. She's like, I, I just stream with this weirdo. She has been living in hell, and now she gets to vent about how terrible his son is. Psycho. I'm not the what, one who came in. Happening? You're clearly unhinged. You're, oh, what was, what was I like that. You're I like clearly that you're... unhinged. Are you? Is that hard to hear? Am I still so quiet? It's not you. I think it's. It might be her a little bit. Oh my god, enough with the audio yeah, issues. Okay. I've been here for an hour or two. No. I feel like our first hour was weak. Oh, look at that. You didn't flash anything, right? Okay, it's fine.
You're so uptight. I'm so I don't want to get banned. I feel like, you're oppressed. I feel you're oppressed. You're no, like, no, no, no. I, I mean, I, normally, I, normally in a normal situation, I don't give a fuck. Do whatever you want, you know. But uh, Twitch is like incredibly, incredibly fucking strict about. Why shit. do you? The, the question is like, why do you assume when a girl comes to your studio, why do you assume that she wants to flash herself? Like, ooh, Hassan, you get called out, you sexist pig. This I'm is like literally the first thing I've heard from you when I came to the studio. Nice to meet you as well. Wait, ready? So he says, nice to meet you, and then what does he say? Yeah, as long as you don't like, you know, show... I mean, Twitch is like very, very restrictive about women showing parts of their bodies. It's like Sharia law. Wow. That's the first thing he says to her. They're weird really as specific. fuck. They're really weird about like Ooh. even showing bras and shit. That's why I'm, I'm scared. Otherwise, I don't give a fuck. You do whatever you want. Do you ask guys the same thing? No, because again, but it's why? not because it's not a double st it's not a double standard I'm enforcing. It's a double standard Twitch is enforcing. Oh, could you put your pussy away? I'm streaming right now. Uh, excuse me, what? This is this is a fucking right. performance art in your house okay. right now. Is it like part of your kink shame strategy? Or we, or we no, 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 I wasn't, that wasn't that. I was not kink shaming Hassan. you, I was just saying, I don't know, I don't know what your skills are with the fucking needle, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's, well, is that, said, do, do you guys have anything else uh, to add other than us free? getting tattoos? <laughs> uh, honestly, this, this is like existentially horrifying, so if, we, if there's any way to... We're gonna, we're gonna... <laughs> this is existentially horrifying. This is the, I, like, really. Grimes right now, I've been saying this, she's having like a bad mushroom trip right now. This whole Twitch universe is so foreign to her, and it's all so evil. You can imagine how overwhelming it is to find all this shit out at once. In a second. <laughs> Thanks everybody uh, for watching. That'll be all for today. I'm gonna run the last three minute ad break here. Um, ad break? Yeah. Who are your advertisers? You, you're an ad based situation no I don't oh yes dude she's as horrified about the ads as i am yes grimes is anti-ads yes have, what the fuck? i don't have advertisers but what? i have a contract with twitch so i have to run ads they forced me to run ads uh at the <laughs> with an ad density this compromises the int integrity of the situation well i don't know yes. <laughs> oh. yes 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 dude yes Oh yeah, do that. I want to promote my album <laughs> right now. Well, just listen to Grimes. She's, um, and, and she's listen, to, listen to Pussy Riot. Amazing. And, and listen to Hassan. I'm not sure you're mentally well. Ooh! <laughs> oh my god, dude, yes! Ooh, god, that was an experience. Thank you guys for staying with me through that whole thing. God damn.